Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to our Aero uh, Launch Tank concert of June, and we are so happy. Uh, we have five outstanding piano students of uh, Lorraine, and you're gonna share wonderful music, piano music today with us. Uh, so I'll have the time uh, given to you, Lorraine, and Lorraine can introduce your students and the music they're going to play. Okay. So good, mo good afternoon and, and welcome to this lunchtime concert. I'd like to thank Dr. Lin so very much for the invitation to be here. We're excited and we hope that you all enjoy this, this hour of music. There's nothing like music to end the week, I think. <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, so our first performer today is Caroline Chen. She is eight years old and she goes to Merrimack Elementary School in Clayton. And she is going to perform two pieces for us today. The first one is Bach's Little Prelude in F major. Bach, as you know, was a Baroque composer. And the Baroque era in music history was from 1600 to 1750, so an early composer. Um, this, was, this little prelude was found in a collection named The Nine Little Preludes, and it was composed around about 18, uh, 1720. Then she will follow this with a little sonata by Domenico Scarlatti, who was born in Italy, in Naples, in uh, 1685, and he died in 1757 in Spain, believe it or not. So they did travel around quite a bit. Um, he was famous for his keyboard pieces, and in fact, he knew George Frederick Handel, if any of you know that name, famous messiah. So uh, Scarlatti and Handel knew each other, and they used to have little mini contests to see who was the better performer. And in fact, it was declared that Handel was supreme at the organ, and that Scarlatti was a master at the harpsichord. So I would like to invite Caroline to the piano, and we'll begin. Janie is up next, and Janie is 11 years old, and she goes to school in Clayton at the Merrimack Elementary School, and she is going to play two pieces for you today. The first one is a sonata by Haydn, 
and I thought you might like to know some interesting facts about Haydn. Um, he sang as a boy soprano when he was little. He was in a choir and he sang for many, many years as a boy soprano. Um, his father was a, a musician also and helped establish his career. He wrote more than a hundred symphonies. Um, he was quite religious and he wrote a number of masses and religious works. He was Mozart's mentor and he also taught Beethoven, so a very influential person. He worked for a very wealthy family in Austria, the Esterhazy family. And he also moved to England for a while and he composed several symphonies there, one of which is known as the London Symphony, which you might have, which you might have heard of. So the sonata that uh, Jane is going to play is a typical classical form. It is in three sections. It, there are three sections, the exposition where they expose the material of the, the piece. And then there's the middle section or development section where all the themes are developed. And then there's a third section called the recapitulation. So you will hear when she plays the three different sections. And then she will follow this with a beautiful piece by Tom Giroux. It's called In the Mists of Yosemite Falls. And it was, in, of course, inspired by Yo Yosemite National Park. And it captures the famous Yosemite Falls. So when you listen to it, imagine the falls coming down. Imagine maybe a rainbow shining through the water. You will hear it in the piece, and it's just a very exceptionally beautiful piece. So I hope you enjoy. Janie, you up next. Thank you. 
And now we are pleased to welcome Jalen. Jalen has been studying the piano for seven years and is in high school at the Clayton High School in Missouri, in St. Louis. Um, she is going to be playing two pieces, and it's very interesting. We've just heard the Haydn Sonata. This is going to be followed by a Mozart Sonata. They're about the same time in the classical period. Mozart, of course, we all know was a childhood prodigy and at the age of six or seven was traveling around Europe playing for kings and queens you know, and royalty. So he was an amazing pianist, very gifted, and came from a very musical family. Um, he made the life-changing decision, actually, whereas Haydn was under the employ of a famous family, the Esterhazy family. Mozart eventually decided to, to be an independent composer. And it was at a time when the piano, as we know it today, uh, was in existence, and more people had pianos. And so we went from the harpsichord to more piano keyboard pieces. And Mozart composed many, many sonatas for the piano. And um, typically, they have three movements. There's usually a fast opening movement, and then there's a slower middle movement, followed by a faster third movement. Jalen is going to play the first movement of his sonata in B flat, which is a, just a charming work, which I know you will enjoy. And then this is going to be followed by an American composer who, current, he's, uh, he lives in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and his name is Dennis Alexander. And it's a very beautiful piece called On Golden Wings. I hope you enjoy.
Next up, we have Leo Tzu, and he is uh, in high school at the Clayton High School in St. Louis, Missouri. And he is going to play two pieces for us, and we're actually moving from the classical period now into the romantic period, so 1800s. And he will play two pieces, the Chopin Black Key Etude, called so because the right hand really stays on the black keys the whole way through. Maybe there's one white. <laughs> Maybe there's one white key. Um, the left hand, it's a very virtuosic piece, so that's why it's called an etude. It, it develops techniques specifically. And his left hand, in contrast to the right hand playing on arpeggios on the black keys, has staccato chords and octaves in the left hand. This black key etude is one of the most popular of Chopin's and has been played on recital programs all over the world. So I hope you enjoy. This will be followed by um, a beautiful prelude by uh, Sergei Rachmaninoff. It was written. It was it was written by a 19-year-old Rachmaninoff when he was still at at the Moscow Conservatory. Um, so it was written about 1892, and he performed his own work in September of 1892. It's one of his most famous compositions. And composers at that time were trying to emulate Bach. And Bach, as you know, had composed 48 preludes and fugues. So many composers after Bach decided that they were going to write preludes also. So Chopin wrote some, Scriabin wrote some, and then, of course, Rachmaninoff uh, published 23 preludes. He was trying to get to 24 after Bach, but he didn't, he didn't quite make it. Anyway, this is one of the most beautiful ones, the prelude in C-sharp minor. So, over to you, Leo.
I'm Jessie Lin, and today I will be performing three pieces. Um, I recently graduated from Clayton High School and am planning on attending University of Pennsylvania in uh, this upcoming fall. So the three pieces I'll be performing are a Haydn Sonata first, and it's a sonata in C major, and it is considered one of his later works. So Haydn in total wrote a total of 62 piano sonatas, and the one that I will be performing today is number 60. And the meaning of it being his later work is that he puts in more artistry. So in this piece, there are many dramatic shifts and dynamics, and it also shows his playful personality. Um, this piece was written for an English pianist, Therese Jensen Bartolozzi, and it is one of the two pieces that he wrote for her. And something special about this piece is that it doesn't follow Haydn's usual sonata form. So usually Haydn sonatas follow the order of an allegro movement, and then an andante movement, and then a minuet trio movement. However, for this sonata, he follows the allegro movement, and then the second movement is an adagio, and the last movement is the allegro moto movement. And the second piece I'll be playing today is Troubled Water by Margaret Bonds. So Margaret Bonds was an African-American pianist and composer, and she is one of the first Af African-Americans to perform with a renowned American orchestra. She received her bachelor's degree and master's degree at Northwestern University, and then proceeded to receive an education at the Juilliard School of Music for composition. So Troubled Water is an arrangement um, from a spiritual uh, named Wade in the Water, and it is one of her 50 plus arranged spirituals, but it is one of the only spirituals that she arranged that is for piano solo. And in this piece, she blended traditional Western classical piano styles and also uh, African styles. And then, so before I start that piece, I will be playing the melody for Wade in the Water. So just look out for that melody uh, when listening to the piece. And then the last piece I'll be playing is the Chopin Nocturne. And that Nocturne was written for Austrian Countess Aponi, and it was to thank her for, um, her for hosting him while he was there at the time and allowing him a place to perform. And it is also considered one of his most romantic pieces as it was truly written from his heart. Uh, so I hope you enjoy my performance. <laughs>
Thank you. That's a wonderful program. You bring us the, from Baroque and classical, romantic period, and even to the modern American music. It's a wonderful feast for our years. And we, we, let's give another round of applause to these wonderful young musicians. <laughs> Great. Yeah, thank you, Laureen. Oh, thank you. And now it concludes our t today's uh, lunch concert. And um, now we can enjoy the, the snacks, dessert, whatever you want, and uh, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.